Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is day number eight of the Avid of Cyber, and we're going to be talking about disk forensics. So if you guys are ready, let's jump into the desktop and have some fun. All right, everyone. So today is day eight, disk forensics. This should be fun. So, you know, it just came out literally a couple minutes ago, so I'm super stoked to give this a jingle. So make sure you connect to your your machine, it took me about like five minutes for this thing to actually connect, so give it some time. Or if you're, you know, VPN in, you can RDP to it and uh, do that as well. But I wanna try to make it as basic as possible so you guys can follow along. So let's go ahead and come up. You can see that there's a little story, right? And let's go down here. You can connect to the VM, do analysts and uh, AOC 2023 bang. All right, so the objectives here is analyze digital artifacts and evidence, uh, recover deleted uh, digital artifacts and evidence, and verify the integrity of a drive. So FK, uh, FTK Imager and Autopsy and InCase, all these cool tools for digital forensics and forensics like eDiscovery is super cool. So if you guys are into that, you know, this should be fun. And I did a... I did a little bit of this years ago just to give a little insight and it was super fun. Like, let's see, we'll talk about that in a sec. So, all right, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. all right. So I guess, you know, some, you know, Van Jolly, uh, was clueless and she find, or they find a USB drive in a parking lot. You know, a lot of even pen tests, we, you know, we can drop some malware, drop some USBs on the drug on the floor and, you know, hope for someone to stick it in their computer and they have persistence or they have like a C2 server or something like that that connects back to the attacker and then they take over and have fun. All right, an anonymous tip. All right, so let's go ahead and just keep going down. You can read all this. All right, investigating. An, all right, so this is pretty cool. Investigating the malware USB flash drive. So I'm guessing this is like the, the, the hard drive. We have a USB that's going into this computer and so on uh, the DC in. All right, this is pretty cool. I like this. <clears throat> USB device recognized okay. All right, so the flash drive is mounted to physical drive two. All right, so I think we have to probably remember that. All right, cool deal. Let's just keep going down. Working with the FTK imager. All right, so we're gonna add a, let's just double click on this bad boy just to get that fired up. And we'll probably have to add the, we're gonna add the evidence. So it's gonna be on disk, um, Microsoft's virtual drive. So we'll let that cook and we'll keep going down. Physical drive, yep, we know it's a physical drive because it said that previously. The evidence tree. So if you guys aren't familiar how, you know, FTK works, you know, you have your evidence tree, which is your physical drive or your mounted drives. Then you have the, the files that are listed and then the context of the viewer. If it's a JPEG, a ping, PDF, whatever it is, let's go ahead and hit yes here and so on and so forth. So this should be pretty straightforward, I hope. Uh, let me not talk crap before I uh, get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and just do file. Add, whoops, nope, not that. Let's go ahead and put the toolbar back. And let's go ahead and hit file, add evidence item, physical drive, perfectly fine for me. And it was the virtual drive here. Let's hit finished. All right, so we can bring this tree down. Okay, roots. And let's see what's on here. Let's let that cook. All right, we got some what? Do not open password. Okay, but let's just keep coming down and let's see what we got cooking. We can see everything here, okay. Control F, you can use that to search, like find anything. So for example, if we go in here, we can do Control F and then search for, you know, B, for an example. Find, and we can just find everything with B. Okay, you guys get the gist. Pretty, pretty straightforward so far. All right, recover and delete files and folders. You can export the folders. Okay, so say for example, you find some, let's go to do not open. That looks pretty, pretty fishy. All right, so say for example, we want this, we can export this file and bring it on your local machine so you can further investigate it. All right, 
All right, let's, uh, whatever, we're going to export that. Verify. Okay, so it looks pretty, pretty, uh, okay. It looks pretty straightforward. This, this one, this one looks pretty easy. All right, so what is the name of the C2 server? All right, so I don't know the name of that. So let's just go to do not open. Let's just click around in here, I guess. Um, let's just click in here. No. I'm just clicking around, guys. This this is what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. What is it? All right. That looks pretty uh, interesting. Oh, let's open this. I guess we can can't even make this bigger, right? Uh, all right. So we're just going to look. It looks like a chat, right? Obviously, it's a chat. So let's see. Hey there. What's up? Just from the uh, Oh. The server is good. Okay, looks like it's going to be McGritty Secret C2. Can I copy this? Let's see if I can just copy this. Bring this over here. Bring this on the board. Copy. And then let's control C that over here. Perfect. Please. Okay, cool. All right, so far so good. This one seems pretty straightforward so far. Let me not jinx it. All right, so... What is the file inside of the deleted zip archive? What is the file inside the deleted? All right, so do not open deleted. So the zip file, it's an action for a zip. So this is the only zip file in here. Juicy Tama toy, Tama toy, whatever. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see if that's right. I want to see juicy Tama toy. Dot zip. No, did I spell it wrong? I'm a toy. Uh, inside. Oh, snap. Inside of the. I'm an idiot. All right. So, what is this? Oh, dot exe. My bad. Whoops. Okay. Here we go. All right. I was on, I was on the right path, but just put the wrong extension. My B. My bad. All right, so what flag is hidden in one of the deleted ping files? All right, so let's go ahead and just come into... There's no ping files here. Let's go back to the root. And let's go ahead and search through here. TXT, EXE, PDF. All right, there's a portrait.ping. Okay. So let's see. Uh, wallpaper. Just trying to see. Uh, where is it? That ping. All right. So let's go ahead and let me see something. View. Want to view the hex value. So let's look at the hex. Uh, let's see if we can look at the hex value of this. Um, hex value here. Here we go. All right. It's been a minute that I've used this. All right. So if we remember, we can search through it. So um, flags normally in try hack me, it's THM. So I'm just going to go ahead and write. Oh, actually, I want to come down here and do remember control F and THM. And I write in it. I hack me. Why can I write? All right, let's try this one more time. Control F. T H M. Why can I write? Really strange. All right. Let me see if they have a keyboard in here. I don't know if just my keyboard or on screen keyboard. Sorry. I don't know why my on screen. My keyboard is not working in there. I'm not sure what's going on. Come on. I don't know what's going on. Let's see if I can just open up. Oh, this thing is super slow. All right, let's bring this down. And let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go to portrait first, .jpg, and let's do control... F and I, I control F. 
All right, let me just do a control F because I know control F works. Let me go back here, control F for the find and the on-screen keyboard. And we can, can we delete that? Backspace, all right, so T H M. Why can't I type in there? It's really strange. I wonder if it's, I want to go ahead and close this out and reopen it. Can I just type in here anything? Let me see. Yeah, my keyboard works. All right. Let's go ahead and just give that a jingle again. Let's just, I don't know if that was just a glitch or if it's just me. So I apologize. Let's uh, try to open that up again. I'll pause it and I'll resume once it's open. All right, so I started again and now I'm able to type. So that was just a glitch. So if you guys have that as well, you can just do that. So now I'm able to type in there, which was really weird. All right, so we know that the flags normally starts with THM. All right, so let's go ahead and hit find. Okay, perfect. That looks like it. So remember, I went to the root and remember you have to look in the J, uh, the ping file because it's asking for a ping file and then make sure you hit the hex so you can see the hex format. All right, so I wanna take a snippet of this with my local machine so I can actually see it. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna read it from another machine, uh, another monitor, just so I can uh, do this. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's bring this over. All right, so I wanna read it. So it's THM. B Y T three dash capital L three V. I'm just sorry. I'm just going to do this really quick. Analyst, I think a uh, N four L Y S 15. Is that it? Oh, la la. We got it. All right. Cool deal. All right. So <clears throat> the last question here is what is the SHA-1 hash of the physical drive and forensics image? That's pretty simple, right? Anytime you want to look at the, the SHA-1 or the hash of any drive, what we can do is come up here on the drive, right click, and then we can verify the drive. And while that's doing its thing, I believe it says it right here as well. If you're still new with uh, um, FTK, I don't use this every day, but I still remember how to use it. But you can see here that you can, let's see, verify the image. You come here, you can verify the image, or you can right click and verify it. Once this verifies the image, it'll, get, it'll spit out the information that we need in order to answer this last question, I hope. That's my high hopes. So let's see if my thought process is correct. And this was a really cool room. If you really wanna get into to digital forensics and you can mess around with this. Like I have a USB that I wanna make a video on, on autopsy, deleted files, and you can use different kinds of tools. And it's really cool, it's really fun. So you should check it out. And um, so right here, so we have the MD5 hash. It's asking for the SHA-1 hash. So it's right, oh, can I copy this? Or maybe I can do a control C, please God, because I'm not gonna remember. Perfect, I think that's correct. And let's copy this and paste it here. And fingers crossed, we got day number eight. Finito, awesome, complete. So that was fun. I really enjoyed that one. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys are enjoying the adventure of every single day learning something new for Average of Cyber 2023, hit a thumbs up, put a comment, in the comments below. I know I always say description below. I don't know why I say that. It's just me. But um, yeah, thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you guys in day nine.